This Sunday brings highly anticipated district council elections in Hong Kong. There are 479 district council members and 452 seats are directly elected by the people, all of which are up for a vote. However, the 18 district councils have very little direct influence in the city's affairs. They make up only about 6% of the legislative council, the city's parliament. The district councils are advisory bodies without power. The elections are still significant though. After five months of intense protests against Beijing's growing influence in the region, voters are expected to show their support through votes for one of two camps, pro-democracy protesters or the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, are they in support of the Chinese Communist Party or in support of the resistance movement? One of the protesters' demands is universal suffrage, a system where everyone gets a vote and everyone's vote is equal. This was guaranteed when the UK handed the region back to China in 1997. But an election committee of mostly pro-Beijing elites still decide who can run for the city's highest office, the chief executive, and about half of the legislative council. We were promised universal suffrage in choosing our chief executive and all members of the legislature. But uh, so far, we haven't had that yet. However, the district council elections are decided more or less via universal suffrage. And because of this, people see this year's elections as an indicator of where the Hong Kong people stand on the issue of the protests. And the pro-democracy camp certainly wants the results to demonstrate that, it, that its cause enjoys the support of the people. There had been concerns that the government may cancel the elections, but things have been quieter for the past few days, and as of Friday night, it looks like all systems go. Paul Graney, Entity News, Hong Kong.